everyone, we are back in the shop today. I have not spent a whole lot of time on the motorcycle and I'm wanting to change that. Um, so I'm gonna come out and show you what I'm working on. And the goal for today, for this video, is to install the replacement handlebar that I got. Um, got rid of the old, on with the new, um, but it's taken me a little bit of time a little bit of uh, not necessarily fabricating, but um, modifications to the aftermarket parts that I have to use. And I'll get into that story um, and kind of walk you through what led me to the handlebar. And it started with the carburetor. Kind of funny that um, it starts with the carburetor, ends up at the handlebar. But when you work on these old cars and old vehicles and, and you're working on a restoration project, you often run into that domino effect where you start working on one thing, it uncovers an issue with something else and, and then so forth and so on. So when I got this bike back on the road, got it running, um, took it around my neighborhood um, uh, a few times, I noticed that the original carburetor was leaking fuel. It was leaking that gasoline, potentially over the exhaust pipes, not a good combination, you don't want that. Um, yanked that carburetor off, and rebuilt it several times, tried different kits, um, could not get it to stop leaking. So I gave up and wanted to replace it with a little more modern upgraded carburetor, not the original style. It wasn't just something that I can swap out. So the newer carburetors require a two throttle cable setup. This original carburetor had a single cable setup. Um, it was only used for a short period of time by a Harley. Uh, it was kind of dangerous because um, if you know anything about motorcycles, when you have the throttle on the handlebar, you roll it back, you accelerate, you let it go, it should spring back and go down to idle. Um, but this design, you had to force it back to idle. So if anything were to happen and you let go, um, it would not go back to idle and the motorcycle would just keep on going. Um, so I wanted to change that out, kind of make it a little more safe, put the two throttle cable system on this bike. No problem. Well, the handlebar and everything, the original handlebar and everything that, that was on the bike was set up for that single throttle cable design. It actually went through the handlebar itself. So that led me to want to go ahead and replace the handlebar because you need new controls, new grips, you need new throttle cables, a two cable setup. And then I took the opportunity to go ahead and replace the control switches, um, the buttons, the wiring and everything that gets mounted to the handlebars. These have seen better days, kind of the, uh, the, the original black. I went with a new chrome design. But one of the issues I've been having is that the aftermarket parts don't necessarily work with the original parts. So when I started taking the handlebar off, I realized that this was a two-piece handlebar setup on this, uh, on this old Harley. Two handlebars would go into a riser or a receiver and you can adjust them accordingly. Nowadays, most bikes come with a single bar that goes all the way across and gets mounted here, right at the top of the fork and you can adjust it accordingly. So thinking that, okay, well, I'll just take the two piece handlebar off, install the single bar and it'll be good to go. This original riser obviously is designed for the two piece handlebar system. This part is useless, it needs to be replaced. So I replaced it, aftermarket product, went chrome, it's kind of a two-part setup. Uh, you mount something like this on top of the fork, and then the handlebar rests in these grooves right here, and then you clamp it down with the top piece. The part I ran into here is that this is the bottom of the original. This is the bottom of the aftermarket part you can see how much larger the new part is compared to the old. So it will not fit down into this area, this cavity here of the fork. 
So we have to modify it. So I'm gonna show you what I did. Uh, hopefully this will work and will function. So what I'm gonna do is modify these aftermarket parts, try to get them to work with this original setup. So again, it's two piece part. You can see on this one, all I did was taper it. Okay, it's kind of tapered. I cut down some of the metal and then I ground it smooth to a taper. There's the, what it looked like when it was first purchased. This is what I, I did to it. This taper will allow it to sit down into the fork, the top of the fork, and then I can mount this. The domino effect can really be frustrating. Don't let it get to you. Just work with the problem. Uh, see if you can't figure it out. Talk to somebody, go on forums. Uh, the internet's great for, or for uh, uh, various forums, depending on the project that you have. Um, don't give up, keep at it. You can do this. I really don't know if this is the proper way, the right way. I've, I've, looked, I've looked all over the internet for a part just like this that is set up for a single bar. I can't find it, so I'm gonna do the best I can with what I got to work with and we'll hopefully we'll succeed. So I'm gonna show you um, how I do that. Let's go over to the workbench and we'll get cutting this down. All right, I'm over here on the workbench. Um, got my vise here set. Uh, I'm gonna put this, this one in the vise. One thing I wanted to point out was, if you notice, the one that I already worked on, there's still some finish here at the bottom. I did not want to like shorten that or grind that part down because I wanted to maintain the overall height of this riser. Um, that's just gonna prevent anything from taking too much off one and not enough on the other or whatever and like causing your handlebars to be angled slightly. You wanna keep them um, as straight as possible. So we're gonna do, let's see. Before you do anything, always make sure that you've got your safety glasses. Which I do, I am wearing. Protect your hands, got gloves on. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the vise. Put a rag there to protect it. It is polished chrome, so I wanna keep that as nice as possible. Okay, secure that. It's good. And then I have a cutting wheel. I'm gonna turn on this cutting wheel and then I'm just going to make angled cuts all around here to try to get that taper just like I did with the other one. So we got it cut pretty good, looks kind of rough. I'm gonna go over to the grinding wheel and see if I can't just smooth this out a little bit, kind of make it look a little more like this one I've already done. Now you wanna be careful, make sure you have gloves because as you cut into this heavy steel, it gets very hot. Uh, you don't wanna burn yourself. I'm gonna move the camera now so you can see the grinding wheel. Over at the grinding wheel now, this is very hot from the cutting that we just finished up. Um, I remember when I did the other one, I had to really take my time grinding it down to the taper that I liked because it just got um, too hot to handle. Even through these gloves, it's very, very hot. So be very careful, don't burn yourself. Take your time doing this, there's no rush. Um, I don't need this bike to get to work or anything like that. This is a project. You wanna do the best you can and, and do the best work that you can. So nothing wrong with taking your time. But we'll go ahead and get started. I think that'll do it. I'm gonna try it out. Back over at the bike now, you can see this kind of is inset a little bit. There's a, a washer and a bushing down in there and it gets bolted down on top of this fork. Here is the original part. You can see how thin that is and how it sits down in there. Plenty of room where now we have tapered 
the new part, the aftermarket part, and it sits down in there fine. Okay, so this is gonna be mounted, bolted down here. The handlebar will lay in here, in this groove here, then there'll be a cap. And then there's actually a cover that goes on top of this. So many of you may be saying, oh my gosh, you're tearing up the chrome. Um, it's okay, it's gonna be sunk down in here, not gonna be um, quite visible, or if uh, uh, visible at all. So I'm not really worried about that. I just wanted the one uh, piece handlebar. Um, this is going to be the best way that I can I can do it. So let's go ahead and mount this in place now. Make sure my wiring is in a good spot. That did, uh, if I recall, that did go under the riser and out that way, so this is going to be fine. You can always take this off again if need be. All right, that looks good. And then the bar will go in those grooves like this. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten these down. Could probably do them hand tight a little faster. And I'll snug them up. Again, I'm just putting the cap on to keep the lower brackets um, straight with each other. No need, no need to like torque this down or anything like that. It's just for an alignment. There, I think that'll be just fine. Now I can tighten these large bolts down. While I'm doing this, if you could do me a favor, drop me a thumb and also a comment below. Uh, kind of like what I'm doing here, what you think of this project. And please be sure to subscribe. Um, really appreciate it. All that stuff really helps the channel. And uh, make sure you hit that notification bell too. So whenever I uh, work on the next part of this, you're notified, you won't miss out on it. All right, that's pretty good. I got them tightened down. Um, I'm gonna go back and refer to my service, guy, service manual and get the uh, actual torque specs and go ahead and torque those down to the proper setting. In the meantime, I'm gonna take this cap off and I'm gonna go ahead and put the handlebar on. And then we're done for the day. All right, let's get the new handlebar out. It's nice and shiny, all chromed up. Go ahead and put that in place here, like so. And then we will put the cap on, All right? And um, this can be adjusted. I can loosen that cap and I can adjust this if I like the lower grips or the higher grips. Um, I'm just gonna put it to where I think and then when I uh, get it back together and sit on it and, and um, um, actually can put my hands on the grips and then I can, I can adjust it if I need to. Not gonna make it too tight, just snug it up for now so the handlebar doesn't bounce around at all. All right, that should do it. And we've installed the handlebar. That's it for me today. I'm the Capable Gentleman, always showing you ways to go from dirty to dapper and to encourage you to never stop learning. This is something anybody can do. You see a project or something that you wanna get busy with and learn about and get into, go for it. Um, give it a shot. Just learn as you go. Best way to do it. Until next time, be kind of. See you next week.